Hey there, Hair Collective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and supporting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue this secret, this story. I don't know why I said secret. There must be a secret going on here somewhere. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue our uh, story. I, I kid you not, the word secret was about to come out again. <laughs> okay, so now we have a King of Pentacles that is feeling trapped in a union, right? So this person, there has been some type of truth exposed to him about his family members. Now, this does not have to be a biological family. It could be some type of family dynamic. You know, sometimes when you have been around a group of friends for so long, you start to see them as your family, right? Uh, blood is not always thicker than water uh, in some situations, if you know what I mean. I don't mean literally, but you know what I mean. Uh, so sometimes you have to form your own family. Um, so something has been illuminated to this masculine, this King of Pentacles, about something his family did. They may have went up against him to prevent him from getting into a union that was meant to kind of heal him and things like that. This uh, would have been a union that was divinely guided. He has some type of contract with this other feminine energy. But there is a Queen of Wands in this situation. As you can see, it's in the reversal position. So this masculine was tricked to get with this queen of wands and she may have misrepresented herself. So initially she would have pretended to be someone that was mentally balanced, emotionally balanced and things like that. But this is someone who is a loose goose. This is someone that will lay with any and everyone. This could even be someone that is in a relationship, but is still sleeping with other people. This is someone that is just really out of balance in every way, shape and form. This is like a toxic character that does not have any control over their life over what they do someone may have some type of entity attached to them so this woman may have presented herself in some way shape or form to attach herself to this masculine to have some type of victory with him she wanted him to believe that she was the better choice than the other person and this was all for financial reasons right this is someone that is after money this is why she attached herself to this masculine this is like you being around a group of people or your family and they know that you are meant to be with someone or you have some type of beautiful connection with someone and the feminine energy around you get really envious of this person you have your eyes on. So they make it their job to tarnish the connection between you and this other person um, and they start telling lies and things like that or they'll even start presenting you with other feminine energy so that you can take the wrong route and that may have been what this masculine did with the fact that we have the eight of swords out here i'm so sorry i just hit my mic with the fact that we have the eight of swords out here lets me know that this masculine did end up getting with this queen of wands in the reversal position um, and now he feels trapped he feels mentally trapped with this woman and does not know how to get out of the situation with her or he wants to get out, but there may be something she's using against him to keep him trapped in this situation so that he cannot move forward. The reason why she's keeping him trapped or this family is working together to keep him trapped, and of course they're working behind the scenes, is because they don't want to see him with this other feminine energy. And I bet you it's probably an empress energy they do not want him connecting with because this is going to help him heal in some way, shape, or form. This masculine seems to be like a people pleaser or he's about, he's been around these people for so long that he trusts them at their words and he, maybe he didn't used to look behind into what they were telling him. So he just took their word at face value, but now he's learning the hard way that that is not the right thing to do and it's probably not the safe or best thing for him to do. I think this masculine is finding out that he cannot trust anyone in his family. That may even be like, a child's mother or just some type of predominant uh or dominant uh feminine energy that is in his life that has been misleading him and this could have been someone that present presented herself to be you know a uh, very hard working and things like that but she's the opposite of that um this masculine is choosing to take a new route or maybe this is what he is considering is taking a new route in life taking a, a new path or starting a new path right so he is having to go within, and this is something that has been forced on him because he may have lost quite a lot of finances due to him getting involved with this queen of wands in a reversal position. And due to him losing so much, he's now going within and choosing to go 
a different route. This person may be choosing to stay calm in this situation and just, you know, play their cards right, not really rock the boat with these people in order to ensure his new passionate beginning elsewhere. And it, ne it doesn't necessarily mean that he's coming to this empress. I think this pe person may have done something in the past to hinder this empress, so coming towards her is probably not an option for him. Um, so this new beginning is going to possibly be somewhere else. This person is experiencing a lot of emotional turmoil right now. It's already um, crazy with the Knight of Cups. These are people that are passionate and things like that, but their emotions are already not really long lasting, meaning that they can fall in love easily. With the fact that it is coming up in a reversal position, it means that this person is going through a lot of emotional distress and things like that. This is like someone who is just not having any type of control over their emotions right now. Um, they could be crying a lot having a lot of remorse and things like that. With this Knight of Cups coming before this King of Swords, this is letting me, letting me know that there was something this King of Swords did in this situation that caused uh, distress. This is someone that is emotionally imbalanced, right? This is not someone that you can uh, trust with any type of secrets or emotional um, emotional secrets at all. Don't tell them anything important about yourself. But this person took some type of action, right, to pay someone to cause some type of blockage for this masculine so that he will not connect with the person that he is meant to connect with or meant to be with. So this King of Swords could be someone that was financially stable, but is losing their finances as well with the fact that I see the Five of Pentacles out here. This person is losing quite a lot of money due to what actions they took in the past. They invested in some type of trickery, some type of dark work, right? To, to block two people's forward movement, to block a uh, soul contract. And this is because this person is just out of balance. This is a malicious person. Um, this could even be like an occultist that prides themselves in causing destruction in other people's life. This is someone that teaches other people how to kind of staffing or staffing light workers' energy. They teach other people dark magic and things like that. Um, and they're realizing that they are losing quite a lot because they came after this divine union that was meant to be, right? So they caused some type of juggling in this situation um, because they may have paid this uh, queen of wands in a reverse to come into this masculine's life and pretend to be in love with this masculine and things like that. And that led to this king of pentacles juggling uh whoever this other feminine energy is, uh, possibly an empress, uh, this is causing this king of swords a loss in life, basically. This person is losing a lot more than they thought they would be losing, um, and this is all due to actions that they took. They were trying to block this union, this uh, collaboration, uh, even a marriage from coming into uh, being, right? They were just trying to block it. What they intended for someone else is now happening to them. So, this person, maybe this King of Swords, may be going through like a divorce or something of the sort, losing a home. It's being left out in the cold by the group of people they were working with. Um, there's a whole lot going on here, right? Someone is just going through a lot of emotional tumors right now, and this is because of actions that this person took. Um, and it was all unnecessary. A lot of the actions that were taken were due to just jealousy, right? Uh, someone in here thinks that it is their purpose, their life purpose to uh, bring endings to life workers. They hate to see people happy because they don't have anything in their life to be happy about. So they make it their job to cause people misery. As you can see, there was a union that was supposed to come out of this uh, collaboration between these two people. They were supposed to have a legacy together, build abundance together, right? Um, and people knew that the people that went out of the way to block this union, they were aware of that. And they did everything they could to block it. Someone is walking away, possibly this King of Pentacles is walking away out of this situation um, to find fulfillment somewhere else or just to leave this toxicity behind them. This is someone that feels just betrayed. Uh, this person may be scared to talk to you. They feel like if they come to talk to you, you're going to be analyzing them or you may really like cut them off or just not want to have anything to do with them. So they are a little bit afraid, but they they do want to come towards you and tell you the truth. Maybe even apologize to you, hoping to seal the calmer waters with you. 
um spirit is saying that you need to watch this person um i'm not sure if they're really coming to apologize because they're sorry for what they did it may just be that because they're losing quite a lot of finances this person also could be walking away from a lot of abundance and things like that due to his connection with these people he's choosing to walk away to pick up a new path and things like that maybe even learn something new in life so that he can live a different life a better life right um these people could be experiencing a lot of karma behind the scenes um and this masculine himself could be experiencing a lot of karma behind the scenes and this is why he's walking away so maybe he's not the one that is not genuine it could be this king of swords that is now feeling some type of remorse because not really remorse some type of mysterious <laughs> <laughs> remorse because he's losing quite a lot this is someone losing a home but this king of pentacles is walking away from this situation okay um and this is just crazy what i also heard is that this king of pentacles this union with you is something that he was manifesting so this could be someone that was surrounded by quite a lot of uh, malicious people um people that didn't really give genuine love and he may have prayed out to the universe to send him a genuine connection and you were a gift to this person and they didn't realize that i know i said something about sealing the karma waters and then the six of swords came out so someone is wanting to seal the karma waters with you uh to kind of fix things um they, someone misses you i just heard like they really miss your company they miss talking to you they really value uh, your conversation, just your presence and everything. And it's like they don't have that anymore. They may be longing for you. It's like their soul is longing for you, but you're not there to fulfill that need. Uh, and it's not like a, 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 a ex what need, you know what I mean? But it's more of a connection, a divine and genuine connection that they have with you that they don't have anymore. And their soul is longing for that. But this person is taking charge of their life to move forward, okay? They're using, they're deciding to kind of tune these people out and make a better choice. Move on their own actions. Take charge of their life. Move forward. There was some type of magic being done. As I said, this King of Swords was out here teaching people how to, you know, manipulate light workers. It's just like, this is like someone that teaches how to do mental magic. Like, they'll have you second-guessing yourself. They'll have you have people playing mind games with you. This is someone that was paying different people to come in, you know, play mental games with an impressed energy or whoever this was, or a light worker. Uh, they wanted this person to feel down about themselves. They wanted to strip this impressed energy of their uh, self-esteem, their confidence, uh, their resources. They wanted you to like, have some type of mental illness and things like that so that you wouldn't feel so proud of yourself, be confident within yourself and things like that. This is someone that takes pride in taking people down, but they didn't realize that when they picked a fight with you, they were going up against an entire bloodline, okay? So uh, this person was not ready. As you can see, they've lost quite a lot of everything. And I'm talking money, cars, house, marriage, everything they are losing everything um there could be someone in this situation that is trying to escape as well possibly flee maybe overseas to another country or even to another state but i think the law is involved in in this situation um and no one's really going anywhere people have to pay for the crimes that they committed um, because this is how it always goes what you do always catch up to you you do the crime you gotta do the time you can't do things in it Thing you can just run away when you feel like it um that's not how it works okay so you're being uh, not you but you know this masculine is being guided to take charge of his life so that he can have this brand new passionate beginning and possibly to make an offer to either you empress or someone else once they are done healing because this is what they're doing they're taking time to heal so that they can have fulfillment in life okay yeah there was a lot of work being done right you see uh, we have the ten of wands out here there was a lot of work being done to block someone's forward movement unfortunately did i skip oh let me put this here i'm so sorry i'm having one of my moments <laughs> you guys will get used to that over time i do that a lot <laughs> uh so someone yeah there was a lot of work oh my gosh i just noticed that we have the magician out here in the ten of wands this means that people were doing quite a lot of work behind the scenes like magic okay people were paying 
for magic to be done, like dark work to be done on you. And not just you, but this masculine as well. Like people put in time over time. Um, like people may even have taken money out of their savings accounts and things like that to pay for magic just to block this union from coming together. And this is because they knew you two will have a life of abundance that they will never have access to because they know if this masculine would have connected with you, then them taking advantage of this masculine would have came to an end because this is someone that was financially abundant, that king of pentacles, right? Um, and they were taking advantage of this masculine. This is someone who they will go to and just ask for money and he will give it without any questions. Or they will say, can you lend me some money? But they never pay it back and will still come back, ask him for money and he will give it to them. So they knew that once this person connected with you, it was a done game. The game was over. So they were doing anything they could to block this person. There was supposed to be some type of financial inheritance either for you, Empress, that these people did something to block. But something has been illuminated. The truth has been illuminated. There could have been some type of letter that was uh, found about something that was hidden or stolen from you or from this masculine. And the truth has been revealed. Uh, it's going to have to be paid out. Now, I had the moon card that fell out on the sideway, but I want to put it out here in the revert, in the uh upright position um regardless whether it's a month from now or today the truth is still going to be revealed but there is still more in this situation that people are not seeing i think it has to do with how far these people went to block this union from coming into being um there's a secret in here that someone is keeping <sighs> there's something in here about loyalty this masculine could have been extremely loyal to these people, but did not realize that these people were not loyal to him, okay? Someone here is living in fear as well. There could be some feminine energy that is living in fear. Um, maybe they have a fear of this masculine coming towards you, taking action to come towards you. This feminine energy may want to take action to come towards you as well. It's probably probably not advised because your ancestors are not going to be letting this person anywhere near you. It's like every time they come up, come up with a new plan, your ancestors are there with a new, uh, you know, ASS whooping, right? Um, they're humbling this person. Like, they're being sat down. Someone is being sat down in, like, the worst way possible. They're losing quite a life, okay? Someone, oh, my gosh. Can you see this? We have the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Ace of Cups falling over it. There's a that that masculine wants to come in and have a brand new passionate beginning with you. They want to work with you. Um, they want to. Oh my gosh! And then I just noticed we have the Ace of Pentacles out here. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh! I did. I just noticed that. Like you two. Oh, I'm not gonna cry. You two are meant to really be together. Like you're supposed to have everything, the abundance, right? The family, the love, the genuine nature, the genuine connection, a legacy, everything. This is what they were trying to block. But it's still possible for this to come into existence. It's just going to take some forgiveness on your part, Empress, and uh, some healing on their part. If you decide to take this person back, this uh, person back, for some of you, this is someone from your past. But if you decide to get with this person or take them back, just know that you're going to have to help them heal, okay? You need to analyze this situation altogether though before you connect with this person. Make sure that if you decide to get with them, that it is your choice, your genuine choice to get with this person um, and that you understand what it is you're getting into with them um, before you just jump into the boat. Um, something I'm seeing about this masculine is that this is someone that has some really toxic ways to them. This is someone that could possibly hang, uh, hop. I, I don't, I didn't mean hang, hop. I don't know why the word hang came out. Maybe something is in limbo here. Um, but this is someone that has a tendency to hop from woman to woman. Um, and maybe you, when you met, when this person met you, they saw something different about you, right? You opened their eyes to something new. So they may have had some false empress in their life, but when they met you to realize what a true empress was, um, this person is having a lot of mental conflict about you as well. So just be, um, just keep that in mind. Someone is having a lot of emotional distress. This person is not having a good time. Okay. 
This person is not having a good time at all, at all. Um, however, even though this person may be like uh, a woman hopper, this is someone that wants to commit to you. This is someone that's changing their ways. This is like their past, basically, right? This is someone that's putting in a lot of work to change. They're not letting fear get the best of them. They're facing their fears, they're facing their demons, and still taking charge to come towards you to make this offer and to have this brand new passion and beginning with you. This person does want to equal give and take with you, okay? And uh, they want you to know that someone could be trying to contact you in the spirit realm to kind of say sorry. They don't know how to contact you in the physical uh, you can also expect to hear from this person as well. Um, it may be that it's not that they don't know how to contact you, but they're too embarrassed to contact you because you may have spoken something to this masculine about their family in the past, but they didn't listen to you. Um, they may have chosen their families or these people's words over yours, uh, and now it has came back to bite them in the behind. Oh, this is a whole lot. I feel like I'm out of breath just even trying to channel this energy. is so much. There's, a, there's like so much going on here from there's this masculine side, the family side, this king of swords. It's just so much. It's draining. I can't imagine how these people live like this every day because just even channeling their energy is draining for me. Oh, I'm going to have to drink some water. <laughs> get some rosemary or something lord have mercy it is tiring like my heart is like just it's like girl you, you need to get done with this reading my goodness wow yeah so this person wants equal gift and take with you they want you honey do you see i did this again <laughs> This person wants to work hard to get, have equal give and take with you to work with you, right? Um, they're going to put in a lot of effort to make sure that this connection with you works. It, it, it becomes what it's supposed to be, okay? This is a union that is divinely guided. This is someone that is working on their character. They know that it may not be the best uh, suitor for you, but they're going to put in the energy to be uh, um, to be well behaved let's put it that way this is not someone that's coming in to trick you or to play you they're putting all of that behind them right this is someone that has put in work or is putting in the work to come into you you okay um uh, just know that you are protected you are loved um if you choose to not be with this person there is another masculine that you will meet this is how it's set up for a lot of empresses if things don't work out with one partner then um there's another partner you will meet i told you this person is having a lot of turmoil mental stress like they, they're not getting enough sleep they're staying up late at night worried about you it could be that this person is playing in their mind a situation that they had with you maybe like your last minute or your last moment with this person was kind of heart heartbreaking and it's playing over and over in their head so they cannot sleep Someone could be crying a lot at night as well. Um, there's just a lot going on here. Someone has left this situation is what I know because um, I see the Six of Swords out here and then the Eight of Cups out here. We see the Knight of Wands. It's a lot of leaving, a lot of action. So this person has already left this situation and they're leaving it behind them. They may have quit their job as well or they're just letting something go. Their, their connection to an institution whatever it is they're letting it go in order to move on with their life okay yeah what a mess this person may want to give you some type of gift as well i don't know what this is i'm telling you this is like a draining energy this is a this is heavy. So heavy. This is so heavy. Yeah, this person is being told not to let fear take, a, take over them, overpower them or anything. It's being told to stay calm, right, and still face their fears. And their, their biggest fear is, has to do with talking to you. 
you know, confessing to you, apologizing to you and things like that. But I'm going to leave it here and I'll pick this back up tomorrow. Stay blessed. See you in my next video. Goodbye for now.